Hello and welcome to Easy Finance. Today we feature the story of Dr. Naledi Panda, a prominent South African politician and an academic. Now, as the former Minister of International Relations and Cooperation, Dr. Naledi Panda has played a crucial role in shaping South Africans' foreign policy. She maintained a balanced relationship with Russia owing to the historical ties of ANC and Russia while promoting cooperation with the USA. She also advocated for constructive engagement on trade and global issues. Dr. Naledi Panda is also a strong supporter of Palestinian rights and a two-state solution, emphasizing solidarity and justice. Now with a rich historical background in education and science, she brought a wealth of knowledge and experience to a political career. Join us as we explore her journey, achievements, and significant impact that she has made both domestically and internationally. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video while you are at it. Dr. Naledi Panda was born on the 7th of December 1953 in Devon, South Africa. She received most of her education in exile and matriculated at Khaburoni Secondary School in Botswana. She obtained a Bachelor of Arts in History and English at the University of Botswana in 1997 before leaving for overseas where she subsequently graduated with a Master's at the University of London. Now back in South Africa, she was awarded a Master's in Linguistics at Stellenbosch University in 1997. Now, Dr. Nalid Panda's parents were struggle activists, which were known as Regina Thelma and Joe Matthews. Now, due to her father's anti-apartheid activism and subsequent exile from the country, they were forced to seek shelter in other countries. In pursuit of higher academic qualifications, Panda moved to the United Kingdom, where she enrolled in the University of London, fulfilling a diploma in education and master's degree. Other qualifications that she went on to acquire include a diploma in higher education, administration, and leadership from Brian Mao Summer Program. She further enrolled for a diploma in leadership development from Harvard University, Kennedy School of Government, and a master's degree in linguistics from University of Stellenbosch, and most recently, a PhD in education at the University of Pretoria. Dr. Naledi Panda is married to Sheriff Joseph Panda, whom she met in Botswana while she was still in school. She converted to Islam during the course of their relationship and her parents were supportive of her choice. Now, according to Naledi, her parents said that God is God. As long as she worships, they will support her. Her Islamic name is Nadia, which was given to her by her in-laws. Now, together, Naledi and her husband have four children named Aisha, Falzu, Harun and Suraya. Now, both Panda's father and grandfather played a key role in the fight against the apartheid government of South Africa. It is also worth noting that she took a different political direction from her father, who went on to serve as the member of Inkata Freedom Party from 1994 until 2004. Her grandfather, on the other hand, was a respected teacher, lawyer, social anthropologist, a reformist, and anti-apartheid activist named Z.K. Matthews. Some of her grandfather's most notable students include Nelson Mandela, who went on to become South Africa's first black president, and Serete Kama, who was the first president of Botswana. Naledi began her teaching career in the 1980s when she began teaching at the Ernest Belvin School in London. She later taught in Khaburono, Botswana from 1981 to 1984 when she started lecturing at the Daung College of Education. Her next job was as a senior lecturer in English at the University of Bubutatwana, now known as Northwest University, from 1986 to 1989. Now, from 1989 to 1994, she held the position of senior lecturer at the University of Cape Town before leaving to focus on life as a politician. It was in 1995 when she became ANC's caucus deputy chief whip, maintaining the position until 1998 when she was elected as the deputy chairperson of the National Council of Provinces. Now, Dr. Panda later rose to become the chairperson in 1991, a position she held until 2004 when she was named Minister of Education. Now, as different governments came and went, Dr. Naledi Panda always seemed to remain one of the few names that each leader looked to have into their cabinet. She served under President Tabombeki as a Minister of Science and Technology and also as a Minister of Home Affairs under President Jacob Zuma. She later went on to serve as the Head of Ministry of Higher Education and Training in the first cabinet of President Cyril Ramaphosa before taking charge of the Foreign Ministry. It was under this ministry that Dr. Nared Panda was always trending on social media platforms, flowing a plethora of commendations and praise for her success in the portfolio. 
Many others also have shared their admiration for Dr. Nelly Panda, saying that the fearless manner in which she executed her duties was very inspirational. Now, some of the achievements under her portfolio was being celebrated for her fearless advocacy for her country's stance on Gaza. It was under her leadership that the International Court of Justice ordered Israel to take measures to prevent acts of genocide in Gaza, as well as to provide more assistance to Palestinian civilians. It was also during her time as the Minister of Science and Technology that Dr. Panda and her team successfully secured a competitive bid in 2012 to host part of the Future Square Kilometer Array Telescope in South Africa. Also in 2022, she received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Standard Bank Top Women Awards for the role she played in government. Now, former Minister and World Bank Group Executive Director Ayanda Dlodo stated that Panda's integrity was unparalleled and that her work ethic was exceptional, demonstrating servant leadership. Now, the German ambassador to South Africa also expressed his gratitude to Dr. Naledi Panda as the outgoing Minister of International Relations and Cooperation for her tireless diplomatic work. She continues to receive more international praise from other world leaders, thanking her for the role that she played in advancing South Africa's foreign policy. Please let us know what you think about Dr. Naledi Panda under the comment section, as this is all we had for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video while you are at it.